Founded in 1934, the Thermofiber plant in Wabash, Indiana has been producing world-class fire safety and acoustic insulation materials for over 78 years. In the early days, local limestone was quarried as the primary key ingredient in our mineral wool. Today, smarter, recycled alternative materials are used in the production, saving our precious natural resources. Let's take a look at how our mineral wool is created and processed into the many products of thermofiber. Our process starts here, in the piles of slag and other rock. The slag is received daily from various local steel manufacturers. Slag is a byproduct of the steel industry that otherwise would be discarded into landfills. Our insulation products contain a minimum of 70% recycled content and we offer products with up to 90% recycled content. To begin, slag and other types of rocks are lifted through a series of conveyor belts and dropped into large furnaces called cupolas. The cupolas are heated to over 2600 degrees Fahrenheit by burning coke, a form of coal. These cupola furnaces take several hours to heat. Once they're up to temperature, they will run 24 hours a day for six days at a time before they're allowed to cool for cleaning. This allows thermofiber to produce several thousand tons of finished products every month. Making mineral wool is an energy intensive process. However, studies were done that showed the amount of energy used to make one pound of insulation is saved in the first 30 days that the insulation is installed in a building. Another way to look at this is mineral wool insulation saves 12 times the energy that was used to make it every year and for the life of the structure. Once the slag has reached proper temperature, it will turn to liquid or molten lava. The lava is channeled onto high-speed spinning wheels. These spinners dispense the molten lava in a manner similar to cotton candy. As the molten lava is cast forward, a binder or glue is applied as it is rapidly air-cooled and collected in a large chamber. The entire process from slag to final product is monitored here in the cupola control room. A high-tech series of computers and measuring devices ensure a consistent quality product. The collected fibers form a continuous mat that is moved and layered onto a conveyor by a vertical pendulum conveyor called a lapper. The mineral wool is now run across a series of rollers and into a curing oven where it is slowly heated to 450 degrees to cure the binder and compress the material into the required density and overall thickness. Upon exit of the oven, large saws guided by computers cut the newly cured fiber boards and blankets into various thicknesses, lengths, and widths. These blankets are then stacked, compressed, packaged into bags, and bundled for storage in our warehouse or loaded directly into a semi-trailer for immediate departure. In another part of the factory, a different form of mineral wool is being bundled in large bales. This granulated wool is finer and fluffier, but created in much the same way as the other mineral wool boards and blankets. The difference being that no binder is applied to the fiber. These bales are sent to customers that make a variety of products, including acoustical ceiling tiles, brake shoes, and other niche products. In other parts of the plant, high temperature industrial products are fabricated and custom mineral wool orders are cut, boxed, and processed for delivery. Some finished goods are stored in our warehouse facility, while others are shipped directly to customers. With dedicated employees and 24-hour operations, Thermofiber stands ready to meet the global demand for quality, fire-resistant mineral wool insulation.